To the West African country of Mali now, where there is growing concern that the military is staging its second coup within a year. The army has detained the prime minister, president and defense minister. The leaders are part of an interim administration appointed to oversee a return to civilian rule. The UN is calling for their immediate release. The European Union has also condemned the arrest, calling them a kidnapping. We call for a return to the transitional government, which must be civil. What has happened is serious and grave, and we are also ready to consider the necessary measures. And for more on the story, we're joined now by analyst Arthur Boutelis. He was part of the UN team that helped broker a peace deal with armed groups in Mali in 2015. Arthur, thank you for joining us. Uh, the EU is calling this a kidnapping of the civilian leadership. What more can you tell us about what's happened? Yes, uh, thank you. So, yes, what happened is basically the president and the prime minister of the transition government uh, have been arrested yesterday after uh, a new government uh, was announced. Again, within the context of the, uh, of the transition, uh, the prime minister of the transition, Mokhtar Wan, had resigned on 14th of uh, May. Uh, he was immediately reappointed. And over the past week, he had basically uh, tried to work, had consulted with you know, a, a wide uh, a group of people uh, to try to put together a broad-based uh, cabinet hmm. uh, to carry out basically the remainder uh, of, of the transition period, uh, an 18-month transition period that was due to end in February uh, of next year. Uh, what happened is um, a couple, uh, what appears to have happened is uh, uh, as part of the announcements yesterday of the new government, a couple of the heavyweight uh, from the, the, the defense and security forces that were part of the transition government so far were not reconducted, okay. uh, including the Minister of Security and Minister of Defense, and that may have caused uh, uh, this, the, the second coup. But Arthur, you know, the, this transitional government, as you said, did include some military leaders that promised elections for next year. So why do you think we are seeing this happen now? Well, I think, you know, there, there was a sense that the, the junta, so the military junta that carried out the August coup of last year, had a strong grip uh, on the on the current uh, transition government, you know, through the the vice president, who many see as the as the de facto leader uh, uh, of the of the Malian authorities, transition authorities, uh, and a number of ministers, um, there was pressure, I think, from uh, the international community, but also uh, part of the Malian political class, uh, to maybe uh, demilitarize a bit uh, mm -hmm. this government, uh, and probably. Uh, you know, the, the military felt uh, they were uh, losing uh, okay. a bit of grip. In addition to this, I think there's a sense that the honeymoon period that followed the coup, because we have to remember that the August 2020 coup followed three months of popular protest. So even though it was a military coup at the time, there were some mixed feelings among, right. you know, the, the, the political class in, in Mali uh, that this may have been a, a useful coup. But I think the momentum was lost. Uh, now social movements have resumed uh, and, and people are quite unhappy with the, uh, with the junta. We'll have to leave it there. Arthur Boutelis, uh, an analyst, joining us. Thank you so much uh, for that. Thank you.